Hello, and welcome to another five minute video. I'm John Talbert, Director of Big Fix Professional Services here at HCL, and we're gonna be talking about AIX compliant fixlet modification today. Uh, we got a forum posting from Matthias here, um, asking about a specific banner um, fixlet. This detects the banner that's being displayed by the system. And Matthias isn't part of the Department of Defense, so he doesn't really want the DOD banner. He wants to check for his own banner. Um, and he mentions that, hey, there's no parameterizing in this fixlet, uh, and there's a base 64 piece of it. Uh, totally right, Matthias. And, and you can read this thread uh, later on if you want to follow all the details, but I'm um, going to do a quick video on this. So um, I got my console open, uh, security configuration in the banner here, and I'm going to go, first I'm going to go to this checklist tool, create custom checklist. Anytime you want to modify a checklist, you actually have to create a copy of the thing in a custom site. I'm not going to go through all the details of this. You can check that on your own time. But uh, I did use this tool to create an external uh, uh, custom site, and I called it DISA Variation AIX71. Uh, and in here, there are some fixlets and tasks. Um, and you know, the deploy and run and the applicability fixlet come along with the site. Deploy and run actually does the probing of the system and uses the scripts that are contained inside of the fixlets. Now I've also got the login banner fixlet here, and we're gonna actually take a look at that script that runs uh, and modify it and then put it back in. Uh, I'm gonna export this fixlet to my desktop and go over right what's there. And I'm gonna right click and let's open it with an editor. This is just XML in here. Um, so here's the description part here let me turn word wrapping off it'll probably be easier to read so we've got a big old description here and then we've got these minefields you can't see these inside of the big fix console but you can see them if you export them which is why you have to do this step x fixlet detect script zero one and two are the pieces that we're going to need and we're going to need to take this stuff outside of the tags here and drop them into a text file so i'm going to just grab this first part all the way to the end there. And let's go to go ahead and paste that there. And I'm gonna pull the second part of the script. By the way, when the run me runs on the client, it's actually pulling these out of the fixlet, recombining them, and then do the base64 decode, just like we're doing by hand right now. Um, and we need, we need script two. Script to go, here we go. And we're gonna grab between the tags. There we go. So this is this script, base64 encoded, that runs when it detects is the banner set correctly. I'm gonna save that on my desktop and I'm just gonna call it original. All right, so we've got this original.txt and let me just grab my path to that file because I'm gonna use the relevance debugger. Now you can use online tools to um, to do this type of stuff. But uh, a lot of the online tools, when you send them base64 code encoded stuff to decode, you're actually sending them a copy of your script. And my security team doesn't like that too much. So I'm gonna avoid that. I'm just gonna, actually I'm gonna switch to single clause mode here. And let's do file blah, blah, blah. blah. Go, and we call this one original. Okay, so this should give me the file. It does, and I want the lines of that file. There we go, and there's the lines of the file. And it looks like there's some, maybe some carriage returns in there that I don't want, so I'm gonna get rid of those by using concatenation of the lines. That should make them all into one big giant line, and it sure does. Now that I've got this one giant line, I can base 64, base 64 decode. And put parentheses around the, the thing that makes the lines and there it is, there's my script. Um, but it's got these percent zero A's, these are line breaks and I wanna get those out of there for the moment. So I'm gonna do separated by Of. This should give me a nicely format. Oh, look at that. There's my script. Now, you might be tempted to just edit it right here, but you can't really save this stuff as a file. So I'm going to control A, I'm going to copy that out, and I'm going to make a new 
notepad file, paste it, and I'm going to save it on my desktop. Oh, hold on a second. There's this little thing, evaluation time at the end. It's not actually part of the script. I'm going to get rid of that. That's the debugger puts that there. So now I'm going to save this. This is my script. This is the script. Let's call it script. Okay, so here's the banner definition from the script. And there's the parts that check for, you know, how, how they actually check the script. I'm going to just change my banner. Actually, I'm going to change it from that point, I think. And I'm going to say, all I said is, don't do not be bad. Okay, that's my new banner. Raleigh says, do not be bad. So we got it here again. Okay, and that one's just a comment. I probably didn't need to change that one, but let's save this off. So now I've got the modified script. I need to base64 encode this to get it back into the fixlet. I'm gonna use the debugger again. Um, and instead of, here, let me grab this portion, put it in a new debugger window. Okay, and oh, I don't want original, I want the script. Script.txt, there we go, this should give me the things, and it does, uh, except for I want to add back in those percent zero A's into my script. Those are going to be important for the for the client when they run this stuff. So the line breaks are back in there. The modified message is there. Now I'm just going to base 64. Yes. And we should have a base 64 encoded script. And there it is. There's my new script. I'm going to take that back over to my BES file. This is the file we started with. Now, I've got the script all on one line. Uh, in the fix that we've got it broken into three lines, you probably don't need to do that. So we're going to get rid of the old script one and script two lines. And we're just going to use script zero. And we're going to put the entire thing in there in between the tags. Let's take that out. And right in there. And paste our new script. I'm going to save this and we're going to go back to getting rid of this stuff. This is the now revised version of that script or of the fixlet with the new script. So I'm going to double click on that and that's going to import it back into the console. I'm going to do a couple things here. First thing I'm going to put a tag on that on the text. This is probably uh, when, are, when are we? We're A twenty twenty one. Just so I've got some notes about you know this is this is not the original. Uh, that's just cosmetic, so that if I'm looking for it later, I can find it. Um, also, I need to create it instead of the master action site. We want to create it in this DISA variation AIX seven one site because that's the site that has the run me script that's going to actually decompile the script there pull the script out and run. So we put it in that site, press OK. All right, now if I check my site, fix it some task, I've got two copies. And this one is the one I modified, and this is the one I uh, started with. I'm going to get rid of this one. You don't want to leave it there, because if they're duplicates, it'll actually cause duplicate issues downstream with like your compliance server when it does its imports. So I get rid of the old one. And we're, uh, we're all set there. So when the run me runs, it's going to run the modified script, and it's actually going to check for Brawley says don't be bad. Um, you can change the description and the other pieces of this if you like. i um, not going to go through that in detail on this, on this deck. The, the point of this was to kind of get you rolling on that base64 modification, which can be pretty tricky. I hope you enjoyed the five-minute video. And until next time. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you'd like to be notified when there's updates, please subscribe to the Big Fix TA YouTube channel. The link is below.